Finally. Finally. Welcome to another video, and this is another one of the uh, videos where I put breaking news in the title because it's transfers. Um, West Ham are open to selling out Cresswell, and Wolves want him. And we are looking to replace him with someone on the list, Ian Matson. <laughs> I have suffered nearly a decade of Aaron Cresswell. Um, he would have had a testimonial in 2024, but the club didn't want to pay for it. Which is which I do think it is disrespectful, but you know, testimonials should be meant for someone like Antonio in my opinion, not when when it comes to him on twenty fifth twenty twenty five I probably he might leave by then. Uh you know, somebody who's more consistent in my opinion. I know Antonio has his flaws as well, but he was more consistent than Aaron Cresswell. Um <clears throat> so Wol so Wolverhampton Wanderers uh want him. He, and, he, and he'd be open to the move. This was reported by the Daily Mail and has re been reported by other sources as well, like The Athletic. Um, man, what doesn't make any sense to me is giving Cresswell a year extension start around the start of last season just for us to sell him. Because it's not like we're getting much money for him anyway, I guess. Losing him at a free comparing to selling him. But. Are we being serious? Are we really being serious? Uh, this isn't going to help the FFP stuff is it? Selling Aaron Cresswell. He's not exactly resellable. Um, I don't remember how much we bought him from, from Ipswich. But. Listen. Aaron Cresswell. I will go through my whole opinion of Aaron Cresswell. If he does eventually leave. Because when I first saw the report. I was like I can't see this happening. But this is needed. I wanted a left back. I wanted a left back last year. We got Emerson. I'm happy with Emerson. This is still needed because for some reason Cresswell still manages to start nearly every fucking game. Luckily, he didn't start the final uh, because Emerson did, and he. And I, I, I get it, people like him because he cried. Uh, when we won the final one. Uh, yeah, he deserves it for putting up with the shit as well. But he was part of the shit. Um, and listen, I, I, I'm not, I don't think anyone's calling it Aaron Cresswell a legend. If you want to call him a legend because he was part of that team, then by all means, go and do it. I'm not going to call him a West Ham legend. Uh, Ian Matson from Burnley. Well, not from Burnley. He was on loan at Burnley last season. Uh, we love doing business with Chelsea. I've seen the Conor Gallagher links as well. They won't stop. Uh, I'll get onto that on another day. Ian Matson, Dutch left back. <clears throat> I watched him a few times when I was watching Burnley last season, and I assume that Burnley would like to go in for him again. And actually, Burnley are probably more of a serious club when it comes to transfers than us. And Vincent Company play like. Uh, included, a, like, sometimes you'll go inverted, sometimes you'll hug the touchline. Very good going forward. I think he had a load of, like, Coventry or Blackpool or something before. I didn't watch him then. But uh, it was at another championship club. And uh, it was looking a bit peak. It was like, is he actually going to get a chance for Chelsea? Um, they're not going to sell Kukurea, and obviously they've got Ben Chilwell. Um... So Ian Matson would surely become available, and apparently he's available for twenty million. But um, you can't blame everything on David Boyce when it comes to Aaron Cresswell leaving. I don't want David Boyce at the club, but Aaron Cresswell's been here for nine years. He's been he he, he was he's one of the last three people. That I've been here when up to uh, that played at Upton Park. Him Antonio Bonner. I don't think I've forgotten I don't think I've forgotten anyone. And off the top of my head, I think that is everyone. Um He's been here a long time. He was there when Sam Allardyce was there, his last on Sam Allardyce's last season. And we are three managers away from that. So we do not need um We don't need these players anymore. The guy should have gone last year. 
after the Frankfurt thing, you should have gone. I get it. People are worried about key man in the dressing room, losing your captain, losing your vice captain. That's probably this is probably why that Cresswell wasn't. Um, uh, uh, confirmed as captain because he would have been confirmed as captain if he was saying. Then again, thirty years old. I think Kurt Zuma should be captain. Uh, I know that'll piss a lot of people off, but it's my opinion. Um, and listen. A lot of people are saying it's because he wants a longer contract. If that is true, they don't. He doesn't have any self awareness. But I doubt he's asking for a longer contract when we've extended his contract by a year. Um, and I was comparing it to Antonio. The Antonio one isn't strict, but uh, isn't uh, strong rumors because I don't think uh, Etifak are going to actually offer a deal. Now, if they do offer a deal, then we might have to accept it. But I would like Antonio to retire here personally. I think he's. I think he can still play a role just as a squad player. But I think Antonio would want to play week in, week out. And listen, Saudi money, Saudi money. Like if you're gonna leave for Saudi money, I, I get it. Um, done a lot for the club, Antonio. But this is about Aaron Cresswell, and Ian Matson would be a a very good upgrade, a younger player. You know, a younger player more pacey player. A player that would learn under Emerson uh, in terms of getting forward and staying back and all that stuff. And we've got... We need Emerson for the Europa League, especially. He's he's a winner. He's a winner in European football. But yeah, Aaron Cresswell could leave West Ham and Wolves... What is it? Like, four million? Four million or something? It's what I'm seeing right now. So... We'll see about that. We'll see if Wolves actually offer the money. Uh, they've got that right, that Giles guy from Middlesbrough. That was what well, I was online from Middlesbrough. They've got Johnny. I, sh- I think Johnny's still there. Eight Nori, Hugo Bueno. Eight Nori might leave, from what I remember, because I think Lamatagi didn't rate him, and Hugo Bueno from the academy. I think so. We'll see about that. Um, I don't think Wolves have bought anyone. They've lost a lot of players though, so we'll see. Um, yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video, guys. Uh, new series this Friday, talking about every Premier League team from the 20 days countdown to the start of the Premier League season. So make sure to watch out for that. Every day, you'll get an upload at least. And if there's West Ham news, you'll get a double upload. So there's going to be a lot of videos on this channel. Thank you for the, Thank you for 170 subscribers. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel and uh, check out the social medias link in the description down below and i'll see you guys later goodbye